it is to your advantage that I go away. Hello friends, from today's passage, there are two important Bible verses. Firstly, he says, it is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the advocate will not come to you. Secondly, he says that the Holy Spirit will prove that the world is wrong about sin, righteousness and judgment. In the first point verse, Jesus says, it is an advantage for the apostles because it is only by the inward presence of the Holy Spirit do the disciples truly understand Jesus. On the other hand, in John 16, 13, Jesus says, The world cannot receive the Holy Spirit because it neither sees Him nor knows Him. This is because the world is possessed by pride, greed, lust, envy, gluttony, wrath and sloth. Lastly, the world's interpretation of sin, righteousness, and judgment is influenced by the desires of the flesh, the desires of the eyes, the pride in riches. The Holy Spirit cannot possess an individual when he or she is influenced by these evils. Dear friends, once a missionary who spent his life in China and a singer who had spent two weeks there returned home on the same boat. Thousands met the singer, but nobody met the missionary. Then the missionary cried out saying, Lord, I gave you my life and he gave you only 14 days. Yet thousands welcome him and nobody welcomes me home. The Lord replied, my son, you're not yet home. Stay firm in this world and you shall possess true riches in heaven. In conclusion, friends, we cannot serve two masters. Although we are made in the image and likeness of God, sin and death has disfigured us. The only way to draw closer to God is by prayer. And our prayer needs to be spiritual. He or she can never walk during the day according to the flesh and pray in the Spirit when it is time to pray. The apostles did not receive the Holy Spirit immediately after the death of Jesus. They thought He was going to lead them into conquering their enemies and free the nation. But when He gave Himself up to die, they were confused. They lost faith. But those doubts were cleared when they saw the resurrected Jesus on many occasions. In our lives, we too will undergo such state of crisis. It is called as spiritual dryness, where our faith is put to the test. We might undergo this problem because of our carelessness or because we didn't value enough the gifts of God. From now on, let us be repentant. And let our only response be, Lord, help me to be humble.